Thank you. Uh, to open on behalf of my teammates, I want to thank Lemoyne College and the Gold Wave for the opportunity to be here. It truly is an honor for all of us to be considered for this recognition. I also want to congratulate all the other Hall of Fame inductees today. Some very the accomplishments of this group, without a doubt, are impressive. We are proud to be here amongst these members and all other members of the Hall of Fame before us. A lot of people wonder what it takes to get to the next level and become a championship team. Of course, the factors are endless, but I believe with us, it started with culture. The culture started before these players arrived at the heights and the team started winning championships. That is part of what Coach Sheehan brought to the table when he started at Lemoyne. He had a desire and belief that Lemoyne could recruit the talent and that they could win. He came from a culture of similar success at West Jenny. My brother, who was a senior when I was a freshman, played on the team. I watched in high school as the team grew and it took on coach's belief and the success soon followed. I still remember my class's freshman year orientation. It was the first time I'd met many of my future classmates, but everyone's mindset was the same. No one came to the one just to play lacrosse. Everyone came to make an impact. And at the time, our thought was, any less than four championships, we missed the mark. We'll take the two we got, though. We knew we had something special when a kid from Niski Unit simply introduced himself as Cash. And all the guys at freshman orientation will know that joke. Half the 2006 team was there to storm the field in Baltimore winning the program's first national championship in 2004. But complacency didn't set in. Those of us coming back wanted badly to do it again, and more so, the freshman class arriving wanted what they had just missed out on. The culture of success continued to grow within our team. In 2005, we had a talented group of players that seemed destined to win our second championship, only to come up a goal short to Limestone in the final game of the season. It was clear amongst the returning players that de 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 the dejection of that loss quickly passed and was soon only serving as fuel to the fire for the 2006 season. In the first game of 2006 season, we got our chance at revenge as we traveled to Georgia to take on Limestone. We walked away with a convincing 13-4 victory and never looked back that season. I struggled as I wrote this speech to define the season, so I consulted my wife for advice, like any good man. She asked questions like, well, what was the pinnacle of your season, or what made that team special, or what characterized your season? And I struggled with the answer. I kept asking myself, what was that moment or thing that made this team unique? And it wasn't until last night that I answered this question for myself. This team wasn't about a single moment or that special recruit or a handful of all-stars. This is a team that truly was a unit. Everyone showed up every day to practice and games like there was a job to do. That attitude and focus by every player on the team is what made us special. I believe this quote by uh, Dowling's coach, Tim Boyle, was in the paper before the championship game Tim said, they're a machine. He said of undefeated Lemoyne. We got to watch them in the semifinals, and you watch them all over the field, and you try and find weakness, and you just can't find it. The focus and determination of this team led to our success that season. This is a time our lives will cherish forever. In closing, I want to thank a group of people to help make that season special. Obviously, all the coaches, Brian Natalis, Kevin Michaud, EJ McCall, and of course, Coach Sheehan. Of course, we all had our moments on Saturday morning practice that we would disagree with this, but we appreciate everything you guys did for us. I also want to thank all the parents involved in the program. I think many times our fan base of away games was larger than the home team, and no player ever went home hungry. I might argue a few guys played just for the tailgates. Finally, I want to thank all my teammates. I often find myself hoping my young children, sitting down here in the front row, get a chance to play sport in college, so they too can acquire 80 brothers or sisters like I did. Go Dolphins.